So now looking at the pelvic joints in the hip practical, here we're looking anterior view, full pelvis with ligaments attached. We can see here we have the sacrum and here we have the ilium. So fibres running from one to the other on the front here will be anterior sacroiliac ligament fibres. So if you can see they're coming from the ilium and going to the sacrum, anterior sacroiliac ligament there. Now be careful of course because these fibres here are going to L5 so these ones will be iliolumbar fibres. Now on a, from a posterior point of view then, likewise we can see fibres coming from the ilium to the sacrum. These will be posterior sacroiliac fi fibres or sorry, posterior fibres of the posterior sacroiliac ligament and notice that there are some long ones that are almost vertical and some short ones that are pretty much horizontal but they're all part of the posterior sacroiliac ligament. Again, these ones here, careful, if they're going to, the, to L5, they are iliolumbar ligament fibres. Now then also from this posterior point of view, we can see fibres here running from the sacrum down to the ischial tuberosity. So these are sacrotuberous ligament fibres. So this is the sacrotuberous ligament. And then near that, just superior to it, we can see fibres running from, again from the sacrum across to the ischial spine. Now they're completely covering the spine here so we can't see it, but it is under here. And so this is the sacrospinous ligament. Now we can also see those structures from an anterior point of view. So here we've got sacrospinous ligament and here sacro oh and here sacrotuberous ligament. Now also from this point of view we can then see, especially if we come in and have a, a closer look, we can see here uh, shown in clear uh, rubber the anterior sacrococcygeal ligament or ligaments and then from a, a posterior point of view the posterior sacrococcygeal ligament you can see that fairly clearly coming from the sacrum to the coccyx, so posterior sacrococcygeal ligament. Now also once we add ligaments to uh, a model like this, uh, we can then also see this would have been the uh, greater sciatic notch, but once we add these ligaments, sacrotuberous and sacrospinous, that then becomes a foramen. So that's now the greater sciatic foramen and then this one here, the lesser sciatic foramen. So if there's no ligaments, these are notches, but if the ligaments are in place, then these are foramina. Now also on this model, we can see the interpubic disc. So seen here from a posterior point of view, we can see the blue fibrocartilage there. Unfortunately, from an anterior point of view on this model, you can't see it. There are fibres running across it there. But what we can also see on this model that's very cool, uh, we can see in the obturator foramen, we have an obturator membrane. And at the hip joint itself, we can see the lunate surface covered with cartilage. So that's the blue bit. The acetabular fossa there. And then this is the transverse acetabular ligament running across most of the acetabular notch, which we can only see a small part of there. So quite a few structures there that we can see. Very good for that. Now then, if we look at the uh, ligaments around the, the hip joint itself, we can see uh, firstly a few structures um, that aren't ligaments. Uh, firstly, we've got the uh, acetabular labrum. So there's part of the labrum there, but we can see it probably more clearly here. So here's the acetabular labrum. Remember, it's running around the, the rim of the acetabulum, and it, it's quite large. It increases the articular surface area by about 10%. It's really quite big. We can see a little bit of it here from a posterior and slightly inferior point of view. And then it kind of is continuous with this ligament here, which again is the transverse acetabular ligament, seen here from an inferior point of view. And that's taking up the space that is the acetabular notch. 
All right, now if we come back to an anterior point of view, we're looking here at a right hip joint anterior point of view. These fibres here on the front of the joint capsule are attaching to the ilium. So both of these sets of fibres are the iliofemoral ligament. It's the one that used to be called the Y ligament of Bigelow because it has this kind of two-pronged shape, like a, almost like a Y. So they're both iliofemoral ligament uh, parts there. Then inferior to them and most definitely attaching onto the pubis are the, is the pubofemoral ligament. So here's our iliopubic eminence here. So the ligament fibres attaching above that are iliofemoral. One's attaching below it, pubofemoral. Now then from a posterior point of view, we can very clearly see body of ischium, ischial spine, ischial tuberosity. So no surprise, that's the ischiofemoral ligament right there. Now then, lastly, on this model, we can see the ligament of the head of the femur. It's in here where there's been a, a section cut through or cut out of the hip to show us the inside of the acetabulum there. So this is the ligament of the head of the femur there on the plastic model.